The great drag superstar Lady Bunny once told me, there's room for everyone in drag. Growing up, I watched cross-dressing men on big and small screens in awe. Actor Milton Berle, comedian Flip Wilson as the sassy Geraldine, Klinger on MASH, and Dustin Hoffman in Tootsie. Watching The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, was life-changing. It's important to note that I wasn't drawn to drag because I wanted to be a woman. No queens I know do. Rather, like the men I watched growing up, I wanted to celebrate women through the art and absurdity of hyper-theatrical imitation. What I didn't expect was to find a place where I belonged. Drag does something miraculous. It provides a family for so many of us who've been rejected by their own and brings people of all communities together. And that's one of the greatest gifts it offers. When the music starts and the lights come up, we all get to share in the same campy, kitschy, and sometimes remarkably moving experience. The mask of drag wields magical powers in my own life now. The success has allowed me to travel the world performing for amazing audiences who understand and revel in the love of the art. I'm addicted to the thrill of the live performance, the sparkles, the lights, the connection with the audience, but something equally fulfilling has happened. I regularly receive messages from people around the world who relate to me or my story. They often ask for advice, for help, or an opportunity to express their closeted feelings. As a young person who struggled with strict religious upbringing and society that saw me as less than, being the voice and listening ear I never had has been the greatest reward of all. I have drag to thank for so much in my world, for opening doors, for giving me a voice, and for helping me to find a place where there's always room for a creative expression.